Can we get guys? And some of you may ask, how can we give God a praise all the time? Because he deserves it. Porque él se lo merece. We might not be worthy, but my God is worthy of all praise. Nosotros a lo mejor no estamos sentidos, pero el Señor es digno de toda la danza. Why? ¿Por qué? Because he woke you up this morning. Él te levantó esta mañana. He put you on your table. Él puso comida en tu mesa. He provided the gas in the car so you can come to church. Él te dio la gasolina y carro. Aleluya. Para que vinieras a la iglesia. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Awesome. Mr. Lord is grande. You can open your Bibles and pueden abrir sus Biblias. In John chapter 10, Juan capítulo 10, chapter 10, verse 1 through 5, verse 2, 1 through 5. Juan capítulo 10, verse 2, 1 through 5. And it says this like this, it says, he very, very, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. De cierto, de cierto os digo, el que no entra por la puerta en el redil de las ovejas, sino que sube por otra parte, esa, ese es ladrón y soldador. But he that entereth in by the door, is a shepherd of the sheep. Mas el que entra por la puerta, el pastor de las ovejas es. To him, the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. A este abre el portero, y las ovejas oyen su voz, y a sus ovejas llama por nombre, y las saca. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. Cuando saca fuera todas las uh, propias, va adelante de ellas, y las ovejas le siguen porque conocen su voz. And a stranger will not, will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of the stranger. Mas el extraño, al extraño no seguirá sino huirá de él porque no conoce la voz de los extraños. I would like to entitle this message A Lamb of God. Una oveja de Dios. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you. We thank you because you brought us here, Lord, into your place of worship to honor and glorify your name, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, because you have given us, hallelujah, the strength to be here. We thank you, Lord, because you have given us the opportunity to be here, Lord. And now we ask, Lord, to open our hearts, uh, open our minds, Lord, that we may receive what you have for us, Lord. Uh, let it not be that we speak, but you should be, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. For this is not my word, but it is your word, Jesus. Uh, and we ask, Lord, that you may open the hearts of my brothers and my sisters, hallelujah, that merit to see, hallelujah, with you, Lord, hallelujah. And they may hear your voice today, Jesus. Uh, in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. You may take your seats with it. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. It's 11.50, so it's kind of early. Right? So I might ask my wife to keep the time for two hours from now. I'm going to ask my wife to keep the time for two hours from now. Because you know that I'm a lengthy preacher. Ustedes me conocen, ya me conocen. Amen. Sometime back, Max Ducado, hace un tiempo, Max Ducado, he asked a question. Se hizo esta pregunta. Couldn't God have thought of something better than a sheep? No, Dios hubiera pensado mejor que un animal, que una oveja. If you notice, of all of God's animals, de todos los animales que creó Dios, 
The sheep is the least able to take, to take care of himself. La oveja es la que menos se puede cuidar por sí misma. And Max Lucado said, sheep are dumb. Max Lucado dijo, las ovejas son mensas, son mensas. Have you ever met a sheep trainer? ¿Ha conocido a un entrenador de ovejas? That's a question. Have you, ever met, have you ever met one? ¿Ha conocido a una? Have you seen a sheep do tricks? ¿Ha visto una oveja hacer trucos? Probably not, right? A lo mejor no. Do you know of anyone who has taught his sheep to roll over like a dog? ¿Ha visto a un entrenador a, a entrenar a una oveja que, que dé vueltas como un perrito? Ever witness a, a circus act, you know, like a, a mastodon and his jumping sheep? ¿Ha oído de, de, de los circos de mastodon y, y sus ovejas que brincan alto? A lo mejor no. Well, you, you have it. I know I have it. If you have, please let me know. I want to go see that. Si lo han visto, déjenme saber. Me gustaría ver, a ver eso. Sheep are just too fragile. They're just, you know, in the words of Max Lucado, they're dumb. Las, las ovejas son, son muy frágiles. En las palabras de Max Lucado están muy mensas. They are defenseless. No se saben defender. They have no fangs. They have no claws. No tienen uh, dientes grandes y no tienen uñas grandes. They can't bite you and outrun you. No te pueden morder y no pueden uh, ganarte en las carreras. That's why you never see sheep as mascots for high school. Por eso no mira a una oveja como una mascota en, en la secundaria. Right? I've heard of the St. Louis Rams. Yo he ido de la, los St. Louis Rams. Yo he ido de... Uh, I've heard of Chicago Bulls. He de los uh, Chicago Bulls. Have you ever heard of the New York Sheep? Have you heard of that? I know you de las ovejas de Nueva York. No, you haven't. Who wants to be a lamb? ¿Quién quiere ser una oveja? You can't even stir up a decent yell for the cheerleaders, right? No pueden ni, ni hacer un, 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 un grito para, los, para las, las muchachas que, que, que andan ahí a uh, cheerleading. You can't. There's nothing. What? Can somebody make something up? <laughs> Little sheep. Little sheep, right? <laughs> you can count me to go to sleep? I don't know. They're not known as fighters. No son conocidas como peleadores. And they generally don't have much to brag about. Y no tienen mucho por qué, por cual regocijarse. And so the world tends to overlook the church because we are considered the sheep of God. Y la iglesia, uh, el mundo uh, tiene esa tendencia de sobremirar a la iglesia porque somos conocidos como las ovejas de Dios. You know, because the church is supposed to be filled with good sheep. Porque la iglesia tiene que estar llena de ovejas buenas. And the world often wants excitement. El mundo quiere uh, mucho gozo. They want a lot of more pizzazz. Quieren mucho more, más pizzazz. I don't know how to say pizzazz in Spanish. Right? No. They want power. Quieren poder. They want to go ahead in the world. And, 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 and well, you know, sheep are, are, are followers by nature. Y, y quieren hacer todo esto en este mundo, pero las ovejas son seguidores por naturaleza. So, why would I want to be a sheep? ¿Por qué es que yo quiero ser una oveja de Dios? Well, actually, you don't have a choice. Usted no tiene el escoger. God says, you are sheep whether you want to be or not. Dios dice que tú eres una oveja aunque quieras o no quieras. That's the kind of, of, of how, you know, God created us. Así nos creó Dios. And if you look real close at other people's lives, you'll find out that it's true. Y si mira la, las vidas de otras gentes que no están en la iglesia, se va a dar cuenta que es verdad. 
In this world, some people follow all kinds of things. In este mundo, la gente sigue mucha clase de cosas. Some folks follow riches. Muchos siguen las riquezas. Don't follow influence because they believe the more they have, they, they are happier. Muchos siguen las influencias porque piensan que entre más tienen, aleluya, son más felices. But Andrew Carnegie once noted, pero Andrés Carnegie una vez dijo, millionaires who laugh are rare. Son muy raros los millonarios, los millonarios que se ríen. Others follow the crowd. Muchos siguen la, la multitud, right? They, 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 they want to go into the party scene. Quieren ir a la escena de, 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 del club o de los parties. They're always wanting a new party, jumping from one party to another. Quieren de, un, de una fiesta a otra. They, they, they want a new drug. Quieren una, una droga nueva. They want a new thrill. They want a new high. Quieren un una éxito más grande. And all you have to do is look at the people's lives. Y todo lo que tiene que ver es ver las vidas de la gente. And they, uh, you know, like Charlie Sheen, right? Como Charlie Sheen, son actores. Lindsay Lohan, Britney Spears, and others, you know, and you see how all that worked out for them. Y usted mira de esos actores como todo esto sucedió para ellos. But people are normal born followers, pero esta gente hermanos son de naturaleza, son seguidores, they follow after something, siguen a algo, they build their lives around something, uh, uh, ponen sus vidas alrededor de algo, and you can usually tell all of that by observing how passionate they are about one thing, y se puede dar cuenta que es por la pasión que ellos tienen acerca de una cosa. If you know me very well, you know what I like. Si usted me conoce muy bien, usted sabe qué es. Pretty sure my wife can get it, maybe my father-in-law. What, what is it that I'm passionate about? The food. There you go. See? You can ask me anything about food. And I'll answer you. No, that's not a good restaurant. Yeah, that's a good restaurant. No, man, don't go here. Go there. You know? Si me preguntan acerca de la comida, de eso yo estoy apasionado. Me gusta, me encanta. Si me hace una pregunta, yo le puedo decir si está bien o no. Mejor vaya a este lugar porque está mejor aquí o que allá. Right? But other people, they, they, you know, it could be racing cars, right? It, it could be horses. Puede hacer los, los carros de carrera o, o los caballos. You know, it could be gardening. Puede ser andar ahí plantando plantas. Movie stars. I don't know a lot of people that know all the movie stars by name. I don't know why. I don't see how that's interesting to them. Yo conozco mucha gente que conoce a los, a, 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 a los, a los uh, a, actores por nombre. A casi todos. And there's hundreds and thousands of names, right? You've been talking 1960, all that actor, oh, that was no, hablan de 1960 de un actor y yo no sé. I wasn't born back then. I wish I could, but I wasn't. You know, whatever they are passionate about, they follow it. Cualquier cosa que ellos están apasionados o por qué ellos se apasionan es algo que ellos siguen. And the Bible constantly drives home to us the fact that it doesn't matter what else you follow. Y la Biblia siempre nos dice, no importa qué es lo que tú sigues. If Jesus isn't at the core of your life, si Jesucristo no está en medio de tu vida, one thing is, two things are going to happen. Dos cosas van a suceder, according to Isaiah chapter 53, verse 6. We are all going to be like sheep who have gone astray. Todos nosotros nos descarriamos como ovejas. So if we don't have Jesus at the center of our life, hallelujah, we are going to go astray. Pero si tenemos, si no tenemos a Cristo en nuestra vida, el centro de nuestra vida, hermanos, vamos a ser como las ovejas descarriamos. We're going to end up nowhere. Vamos a, a terminar en, en un lugar que no conocemos. You always end up going astray. Siempre vas a terminar perdido. And the second thing, hallelujah, unless Jesus is your shepherd, 
You're not going to have the power to be happy and content as Matthew 9, 36 a uh, menos que no tengas Jesucristo en tu, eh, eh, como tu pastor, nunca vas a tener el poder de, de, de ser feliz y estar contento, conforme Mateo 9.36. When Jesus, when Jesus saw the crowds, he had compassion on them, because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Y al ver Jesús las multitudes, tuvo compasión de ellas, porque estaban desamparadas y dispersas como ovejas que no tienen pastor. And as I was preparing this message, mientras estaba preparando este mensaje, those two verses just, just stood out for me. Esos dos versículos se, a, a, se sobresalieron eh, cuando, mientras estaba leyendo. So, let's take a look at the first verse. Vamos a ver el primer versículo. Without Jesus as your shepherd, you're not going anywhere in your life. Sin Jesucristo como tu, como tu pastor, no vas a ir a ningún lado en tu vida. There is no religion in this world. No hay, cualquier, no hay religión en este mundo. Like an apostolic Christian, como una, a un cristiano apostólico. That can make your life count for something. Que puede hacer tu vida que cuente por algo. Apostolic Christianity may not be flashy or impressive. Este cristianismo apostólico no puede ser uh, algo muy impresivo, hermanos. But, but, but when we follow Jesus, pero cuando seguimos a Jesucristo, He leads us to accomplish great things. Él nos lleva a cumplir grandes cosas. Years back, años atrás, Russ Blowers, es el hombre Russ Blowers, who was a pastor of the 91st church, in, a Christian church in uh, the, one of the biggest churches in Indianapolis. Es el hombre que pastorea a la iglesia en la calle 91, uh, una iglesia más grande en Indianapolis. He was also an active member of the Rotary Club. Era un miembro de uh, un club que se llama el Rotary. And each week, each different member would stand up and, and give a brief statement about their job. Cada semana, cada hombre se paraba para dar un testimonio de, de, su, de su trabajo. When it came to his turn, cuando llegó al tiempo de ese hombre, de ese pastor, he didn't say, I'm a minister of God. Él no dijo, yo soy un ministro de Dios. And he didn't start bragging about his congregation he served. No empezó a hablar de su congregación y a sobre exaltar su iglesia donde él estaba. But he said this, pero dijo esto. Hi, hola, I am Russ Blowers. Yo soy Russ Blowers. I am with a global enterprise. Yo estoy con una, con una empresa global. We have branches in every country in the world. Tenemos raíces en todas las continentes de este mundo. We have our representatives in nearly every parliament. Tenemos a nuestros representantes en cada parlamento, en boardroom on this earth, y cada cuarto de este, de este mundo. Our original organizer owns all the real estate on earth. Nuestro organizador uh, uh, original es el dueño de todo real estate. Bienes y raíces de este mundo. And he says, he owns all the galaxies. Es el dueño de todas las galaxias. He is the, the owner of all the constellations. Es el dueño de todas las constelaciones. He knows everything and lives everywhere. Él conoce todo y vive en todo. We're into motivation and behavior alteration. Estamos adentro de la motivación y alteración de, uh, de actitudes. We run hospitals, corremos hospitales, feeding stations, locales donde dan de comer a la gente, crisis pregnancy centers, lugares o centros donde uh, hay, hay uh, embarazos de crisis, universities, universidades, publishing houses, and nursing homes, uh, donde hacen los libros y donde duermen los, uh, los ancianos. We care for our, cli our clients from birth to death. Nos importan nuestros clientes desde que nació hasta que muera. We are into life insurance and fire insurance. Estamos en la, en la aseguranza de vida y la aseguranza de fuego. We perform spiritual heart transplants. 
a, hacemos a, trasplantes espirituales de corazón. Our product is free for all who ask. Nuestro producto es gratis para todo lo que le pida. But that's a good thing. Pero eso es algo bueno. Because there's no, not money enough in this world that can buy this. Porque no hay dinero en el mundo que pueda comprar esto. And there's a long list that he said, but I kind of narrowed it down because I didn't want it to be two pages long as I read it. Era una lista muy larga, hermanos, y no lo quise hacer tan extenso, nomás lo que, lo que for, lo formé para uh, predicar esta mañana. See, what this man was trying to say, lo que estaba tratando de hacer, decir este hombre, he's, he's trying to convene an introduction. Estaba tratando de dar una introducción of who, de quién, of Jesus Christ, de Jesucristo. So he didn't go to the meeting to talk about himself. He went to the meeting to talk about Jesus. Él fue a reunión no para hablar por sí mismo, sino para hablar por Jesucristo mismo. So if you want to make a difference in this world, there's nothing like serving Jesus. Si quieres hacer una diferencia en este mundo, no hay nada mejor que servir a Jesucristo. But now, not everybody believes that. No todos creen en eso. There's a, there was a debate. Había un debate in Texas about 80 years ago, hace unos 80 años, with the president of the American Association, donde el presidente de la Asociación Americana, of the advancement of atheism, donde el avance de, 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 de ateísmo or ateo, ateísmo. Named Charles Smith, este hombre llamado Charles Smith. He proposed that atheism was the most beneficial theory for mankind because it was the foundation of the best morality of man. Este hombre propuso que el, el ateísmo era de beneficiario al hombre porque teóricamente uh, le beneficiaba a, a la humanidad. Hallelujah, y la moralidad de esta humanidad. He was debating a church of a preacher in Dallas. Estaba debatando de una iglesia de un predicador en Dallas. And this pastor's name was uh, W. L. Oliphant. El predicador se llama W. L. Oliphant. Now, at one point of the debate, y en un punto del debate, this pastor gets up. Este pastor se sube a la plataforma. And he said this, he dijo esto. I want you to know that Mr. Smith came here to affirm atheism, but he didn't do anything about affirming atheism. He attacked Christianity. Este hombre ateo, Mr. Smith, vino a hablar del ateísmo, pero no habló del ateísmo, sino atacó la cristianidad. This method of debate is in harmony with the world program of atheism. Esta clase de ateísmo está en armonía con el programa de los ateos. It is entirely destructive. Es completamente destructivo. And in a few minutes that I have left, y en los primeros en los últimos minutos que tengo, he said, I shall introduce a few of the principles of morality taught in the New Testament. Voy a introducir unos uh, pocos principios de moralidad enseñados en el Nuevo Testamento. And he said, Christ teaches, Cristo dijo, avoid hatred. Uh, que no, que te alejes de, del odio, according to Matthew 5.21. No lustful thinking, no pienses mal, no unfair judgments, no juzgas mal. Love your enemies, ama a tus enemigos. Reconciliation, reconciliate. Non resistance, no te resistas. Avoiding anxiety. Self examination, examinate tu mismo. Respect for the government, respeto por el gobierno. Equality of man, la igualdad del hombre. A universal brotherhood, una amistad universal. Forgiveness, hallelujah. El, el, el perdón. Thrift. And industry, hallelujah. I don't know how to say that in Spanish. Thrift and in the industry. La industria y el be thrifty. Good question. And he said all those, and, and he named all the, 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 the 
Bible verses according to that. Y dijo todos los versículos conforme lo que había dicho. You see, what the Church of Christ preaches was essentially saying one thing. Christianity is not about you. La iglesia cristiana, hermanos, está esencialmente diciendo una cosa. La cristianidad no es de ti. Christianity is not about me. La cristianismo no es de mí. Christianity is about following Jesus Christ and listening to his voice. El cristianismo es de seguir a Jesucristo y oír la voz de Dios. Because it's only when we listen to his voice and follow him that we are going to accomplish anything of any lasting value in our lives. Porque es cuando cuando escuchamos la voz de Dios que vamos a cumplir las cosas que tienen valor en este mundo. Wow. And many of the things that people follow in this world, muchas de las cosas que la gente sigue en este mundo, it's all about satisfying my desires. Es de satisfacer mis deseos. De, to, to satisfy my needs, de satisfacer mis deseos. But Jesus teaches us that that's not why you were created for. It's like, pero la Biblia, Jesucristo enseña que por eso no, para eso no fuiste creado tú. We were created to have a higher purpose in life. Fuimos creados para tener un propósito más alto que eso en la vida. We were created not to satisfy your wants or your needs. We were created para no satisfacer, not satisfacer, hallelujah, tus necesidades o tus, tus deberes. But we were here to serve the Almighty God and all loving God. Pero we were created para, hallelujah, servir a Dios todo poderoso. And because of that truth, por esa razón. Christianity has been at the forefront of changing this world. El cristianismo ha estado adelante en frente, hermanos, aleluya, para cambiar a este mundo. And as Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth. Y como Jesucristo lo dijo, tú eres la sal de esta tierra. And Jesus said, aleluya, you are the light of this world. Tú eres la luz de este mundo. If I am the light of this world, hallelujah, Si yo soy la luz de este mundo, hallelujah. What's my purpose in this world? ¿Qué es mi propósito de este, a este mundo, hermanos? What is the reason for me being here? ¿Por qué es la razón de yo estar aquí? You see all the people out there. Usted mira toda la gente allá afuera. Those are lost sheep. Esas son ovejas perdidas. You are their light. Tú eres la luz para esa gente. You are the light for the lost. You are the light for the perdido. You are the light for the one that is burning. You are the light for the one that is burning. You are the light for Now believers in Jesus Christ have been the ones who start hospitals. Los cristianos han sido los que han estado empezando los hospitales. The universities, the universidades, todo lo que es bueno para este mundo, everything that has been good for this world, the food, the shelters, todo lo uh, donde están uh, uh, los protegidos, uh, uh, comida para todos los pobres. They've started, uh, and the list goes on and on and on of what Christian and Christian Christian people have done. La lista va muy extensa de lo que la gente cristiana ha hecho. And that's a big set of accomplishments and some cumplimientos muy grandes for a flock of sheep that can't do anything. unas ovejitas, hermanos, que no saben hacer nada. But it isn't because we're sheep that we're getting things like this done. No nomás porque somos ovejas estamos cumpliendo esto. It's because our shepherd is the Lord Jesus Christ. Si no por nuestro pastor es el Señor que se Cristo mismo. And that's what Paul wrote, hallelujah, so confidently in 1 Corinthians 15, 58. Por eso Pablo escribió confiadamente en 1 Corintios 15, 58. Dear brothers, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always keep yourself, hallelujah, fully to the work of the Lord because you know 
the computer labor in the Lord is not in vain. Así que hermanos míos, amados, está firmes y constantes creyendo en la obra del Señor siempre, sabiendo que nuestro trabajo en el Señor no es en vano. We have the promise. Tenemos esa promesa that everything we do in God is not in vain. Que todo lo que te hacemos en Dios no es en vano. Because our God is our shepherd. Porque nuestro Dios es nuestro pastor. He is there. Él está ahí. He is the same. And everything that we do is not in vain. Está asegurando los hermanos que todo lo que hacemos no es en vano. If that's what you can expect if you follow Jesus Christ. Y eso es lo que puedes esperar, hermanos, si tú sigues a Jesucristo. But if you're not following Jesus, pero si no estás siguiendo a Jesucristo, you're not going, you're not going anywhere in your life. No vas a ir a ningún lado en tu vida. Or you're not even going to accomplish anything of lasting value. Y no vas a cumplir nada, hermanos, que tenga un valor que va es por eternidad. That was based on the first verse. Eso fue pensado en el primer versículo. Our second verse, nuestro segundo versículo. Unless Jesus is your shepherd, you're not going to have the power to be happy or content. Si Jesucristo no es su pastor, no vas a tener el poder de estar feliz y estar contento. Now notice that I didn't say that the non-Christians can't be happy. No, que no dije que los que no son cristianos no pueden ser felices. Or they can't be content. Or no pueden estar contentos. Sure they can be happy. Claro que pueden estar felices. As long as life goes their way, they can be happy. Siempre como la vida o va, ellos quieren, van a ser felices. And as long as their health is good, they're going to be happy. Y cuando eh, están buen de salud, bien de salud, van a estar contentos. As long as they have a good job and they enjoy their job, they're going to be happy. Mientras tienen su trabajo y gozan de su trabajo, pues van a estar felices. People love us. La gente nos ama. Because they are happy. Porque ellos están felices. And they see, they, they know that the sky is blue. Y saben que, que el cielo es azul. Because they are happy. Everything is going their way. Están felices y todo está yendo como ellos quieren que vaya. And anybody, anybody can fairly be content. Anybody can fairly be happy. Cualquiera puede estar haciendo muy contento y feliz. But what happens when life goes south? Pero qué pasa cuando la vida va del otro lado? When friends desert you, cuando te dejan los amigos. When your finances are in the tank, cuando tus finanzas están echada a perder. When your health is failing, cuando tu, tu, tu salud, hermanos, no está bien. When your dreams are dashed, cuando tus sueños, hermanos, se acabaron. Even Christians have trouble with those. Aún los cristianos tienen problema con eso. They have trouble handling those things. Tienen problema batallando con eso. But Jesus warned us the same thing. That life is going to be like that. Y Jesucristo nos dijo, así va a ser la vida. He warns us all of those things. We know about all of those things. Nosotros sabemos de todo eso. Él nos advirtió de todo eso. But there is a secret. Pero hay un secreto. That the world doesn't know. Que este mundo no sabe. That in order for you to be content, in order for you to be happy, para que tú estés feliz y contento in the midst of your trial, in the midst of the pain, in the midst of your finances going down the drain, en medio de tus problemas, en medio del dolor, en medio de tus finanzas que no están bien, the only secret we have is Jesus Christ. El secreto que nosotros tenemos es Jesucristo mismo. chapter 4 verse 12 in Genesis capítulo 4 12 I know what it is to be in need the Pablo dice que yo sé hallelujah uh, que, que, y sé que tener esa abundancia and I know what it is to have plenty I have learned 
the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or want. See, Paul knew the secret. Pablo sabía el secreto, ser, ser humilde, ser vivir humildemente y ser tener abundancia en todo y por todo estoy enseñado así para estar saciado como para tener hambre right, he knew the secret he had gone through everything that we have not come through él pasó sobre todo en cuando nosotros no hemos pasado what does the last section of that verse says I can do everything through Jesus Christ who gives me strength Paul had learned the secret to be content. Hallelujah. When life was against him, Pablo tenía el secreto de estar contento cuando la vida estaba contra él. And what was that secret of the contentment? ¿Cuál fue cuál, cuál es el secreto de, ese, de, ese, de esa felicidad? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. And that's why Jesus said in John chapter 10, por eso Jesucristo dijo en Juan 10, 14 through 15, 14 al 15, I am the good shepherd, I know my sheep, and my sheep know me, and I lay down my life for my sheep. Yo soy el buen pastor, y conozco mis ovejas, y las y la mies me conocen a mí, y pongo mi vida por las ovejas. Mind you, it says, I lay down my life for the sheep. Yo pongo, hallelujah, mi vida por las ovejas. He doesn't say for the sheep that are in the church. Él no dice por las ovejas que nomás están en la iglesia. He said in general sense for this whole world, for the sheep of this world. He got en general por todas las ovejas de este mundo. He laid down his life for us. He died for your sins. He died for your sins. He died for your sins. He suffered. He suffered. He went through the crucifixion. He passed for the crucifixion. Because he loves you. Because he loves you. And if our God, the shepherd, is our God, el pastor was willing to do that for us. Estaba dispuesto a hacer eso por nosotros. Why wouldn't he be willing to be there for us when our lives are being unraveled? Cuanto más puede hacer, hermanos, él estar allí cuando nuestra vida está echado por perder. F. B. Mayer once said, noted, un hombre por F. B. Mayer dijo, the oriental shepherd will always ahead of his sheep el pastor oriental siempre está adelante de sus ovejas. He was down in front, estaba al enfrente. Any attack upon the sheep had to be taken first through him. Cualquier ataque que llegara a las ovejas, hermanos, primero tenía que pasar por el pastor. Now, our God, ahora nuestro Dios, is down in front, está al enfrente. He is in front of our tomorrows. Está en frente a nuestro mañana. He is there right now. Él está ahí ahorita, taking care of us. Está cuidando de nosotros. We might not know what our tomorrow brings. No podemos saber lo que nos trae el de mañana. Hallelujah. But we know that our God is at the top of us. Pero sabemos que nuestro Dios está en frente de nosotros. And that's why David was confident to say it in Psalms chapter 23. Por eso David estaba confiadamente diciendo en Salmo 23, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want to. Jehová es mi pastor, nada me faltará. He will give me love now and be pastors. And when I was in the house, pastor, I have not descansado. What does he say? He needed me, hallelujah, beside the still waters. Junto a aguas de reposo, me pastoreará. He restored my soul, comportará mi alma. He leadeth 
me through the paths of the righteousness for his name's sake. Me guiará por sendas de justicia por amor de su nombre. What was that last part say? Yea, though I walk through the valley in the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Aún ande el valle de sombra de muerte, no temeré mal alguno. Why? Por qué? For now, on with me, for the first time. Jesucristo dijo, in this world, you will have trouble. 
en este mundo vas a tener problemas. It doesn't matter who you are. No le hace que seas. Whether you are a Christian or not. Siendo cristiano o no. In this world, you all have trouble. En este mundo vas a tener problemas. But what does the promise in John 16.33 say? Pero cuál es la promesa que Juan 16.33 nos dice? In this world, you will have trouble. En este mundo tendréis aflicción. But take heart. Pero confiar. And I like how the Spanish said, be confident. Trust in God. But take heart. I have overcome this world. Yo he vencido a este mundo. I have overcome this world. And many of you know, y muchos de ustedes saben, that I struggle a lot. Que yo batalla mucho. Not anybody, como muchos. We all struggle in the midst of health issues. Batallamos en medio de la salud. O por medio de la salud. And every time I feel down, cada vez que me siento mal, I let my wife go. Le dejo saber a mi esposa. I'm not feeling too good. No me estoy sintiendo bien. And sometimes she can just tell in my face in my, my, how, how I am. Y en veces ella puede notar en como eh, yo estoy en mi cara. She can tell. I don't tell her so she can feel pity on me. No le digo para que ella se sienta mal de mí. Because I know in her heart she is praying. Porque yo sé que en su corazón ella está orando por mí. Sí, and that gives me strength too. Y eso me da fuerza a mí también. Knowing, hallelujah, that God has overcome this world. Sabiendo que el Señor ha vencido a este mundo. And knowing that my wife, hallelujah, is behind me praying for me. Sabiendo que mi esposa está detrás de mí orando por mí. So you not only have a pastor, your shepherd in front of you. Ahora no no más tienes tu pastor y en frente de ti. But you have your family behind you. Pero tienes tu familia detrás de ti. You have your church family behind you. Tienes a tu familia de la iglesia detrás de ti. You have your pastor from the church behind you. Tienes a tu pastor de la iglesia detrás de ti. That are, are praying for you. Que están orando por ti. And this world doesn't have that. Este mundo no tiene esto. Can we stand? Pongámonos en pie. Are my last two stories that I leave with you. Mis últimas dos historias que les dejo con usted. An American tourist went to the Middle East. He traveled to the Middle East. Un hombre americano fue a, a Medio Oriente. Viajó al Medio Oriente. And these tours, this group stopped upon several shepherds whose flocks were entangled together. Y pararon en una área donde había un pastor de ovejas. Habían tres pastores de ovejas. Y las ovejas todos estaban en, entre medias de unas brocas. They were all drinking water from a brook. Estaban todas bebiendo agua de un río. After an exchange of greetings, después de que se saludaron, one of the shepherds turned around. Uno de los pastores se volteó la vuelta. And he called out. Y gritó, maná, 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 which means follow me in Arabic. Y este hombre gritó, maná, 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 que es sígueme en árabe. And immediately the shepherd, the sheep, amongst all three flock, the sheep left 
and follow the pastor. Inmediatamente las ovejas entrando, estando tres grupos juntos, las ovejas de este pastor se retiraron con su pastor. Then of the two remaining shepherds, one called out, Maná, Maná. Y de los dos pastores que quedaran, que quedaron, el grito, Maná, Maná. And the sheep left the common flock to follow him. Y las ovejas dejaron donde estaban todas juntas y siguieron a su pastor. And the American said, he was kind of thrilled to see the sheep follow him. Ese pastor estaba muy entretenido viendo a las ovejas siguiendo a su pastor. And he said, I would like to try that. Me dijo al último pastor que estaba ahí, me gusta a, a, a tratar eso. He said, let me put on your cloak. Let me, let me get your turban. Let me get your staff. Dijo, do you have to put your ropa? Do you have to put your staff? Tu pastor. Tu callado. And let me call on them. Let me see if they follow me. They have a si me siguen. And the shepherd smiled as he was giving him his clothes and he was giving him his staff. Y el pastor, una sonrisa, le dio su, 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 su callado y le dio su, 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 su ropa. And he put on the turban. He put on the head. He put on everything. Le puso todo. And he yelled, Maná, Maná. He said, Maná, Maná. The sheep kept on drinking water. Y las ovejas siguieron tomando agua. They did not respond to the stranger's voice. No respondieron a la voz de este americano. Not one of the sheep moved toward him. Ni solo una se movió hacia él. There's another story of a tourist that went to the Holy Land. Otra historia de alguien que fue a la Tierra Santa. He noticed a flock of sheep being driven along by several men rather than following a shepherd. He vio a varias ovejas siguiendo a varios hombres en vez de seguir nomás a un pastor. And he turned around to his guide and said, y volvió a su guía y le dijo, I thought sheep were always led by one pastor, by one shepherd. Yo pensé que las ovejas siempre han sido guiadas por un pastor. The shepherd and the, the guide, he said, You're right. Y este pastor dice, Este guía dijo, Si, tiene razón. But that's not a normal flock. Ese no es un, un grupo de ovejas regular, normal. They are not being led to pastor by their shepherd. No están siendo guiados para pastorear, para pastorear. Aleluya. En su área. Those are sheep being taken to the slaughter. Esos ovejas son ovejas que van a ser sacrificadas. And the Bible tells us that we're like sheep. La Biblia nos dice que somos como ovejas. We all follow something in life. Todos seguimos algo en la vida. Some follow their own passion and desires. Muchos siguen sus propias pasiones y deseos. Some follow great leaders. Muchos siguen grandes líderes. Some follow religious religions and teachings of mere men. Muchos siguen religiones y enseñanzas de tan solo hombres. But there's only one who is really worth following. Pero no más hay uno en cual en la realidad es, hermanos, que debemos seguir. There's only one good shepherd. Más hay un buen pastor who is willing to lay down his life for you. Más hay un buen pastor que damos que dio su vida por ti. And those who follow him will have trouble in this life. Y todo aquel que le sigue va a tener problemas o aflicción en esta vida. But he will give them the power to overcome those troubles. Pero él te va a dar el poder para sobresalir esas aflicciones. And those who follow him will accomplish great things. Y todo aquel que le sigue va a cumplir grandes cosas en sus vidas. And will ultimately be led to heaven. Y últimamente van a ser guiados 
hacia los cielos. There's no other. There's no other voice. There's no other voice. No hay otra voz. There's no other voice like the voice of Jesus. No hay otra voz como la voz de Jesucristo. Jesus said, my sheep, hear my voice, and they follow me. Jesus dijo, las ovejas oyen mi voz, and me siguen. Do you hear his voice today? Escuchas la voz de